So we've heard about how some students have fallen behind because of the pandemic and having to do distance learning. And one of the results is a reduction in reading rates at schools across the state. KITV4's Paul Drews reports these lower literacy levels are expected to last for years. He looks into their canoe. Learning to read is an important part of Keiki's early education. Literacy is really uh, a gateway for our students to continue their learning and reach their aspirations for success. But the pandemic put many students behind. Hawaii struggled during the pandemic and struggled, um, especially with our earliest learners um, not being in the classroom with their teachers. In-person instruction can be critical for students as they learn to read. Reading is a real complex process. It's not just simply decoding words. It entails language, vocabulary, um, uh, grammar, and a lot of other things. So when you think about reading and how complex it is, especially in the early grades, uh, a lot of the skills uh, are very performance-based. Pig? Uh, when? While students are back in classrooms now, the disruption to regular learning over the past two years meant lower academic results this school year. The impact, however, as we're looking at test scores, were definitely in kindergarten, first grade, second, third, and fourth grade. Our uh, achievement levels have gone down. At Kuala Pu'u Charter School on Molokai, achievement levels have not dropped equally for all students in those grades. What the additional COVID challenges have done is widen the gap between students who excel at learning and those who struggle. For our kids that were already behind, it's putting them probably six months to a year behind. Um, for our kids that were just a little bit behind, being in school worked for them. You know, and maybe even some of those small class sizes worked for them. And those were some of the kids that we saw improve. Our kids that were already at grade level, they're still doing fine for the most part. Once kids were able to read, I don't think uh, uh, the pandemic had as great effect on them, just specifically speaking about their reading, because they were able to spend a lot of time independently reading. According to the Department of Education, fifth and sixth graders across the state have not seen a drop off in test results, as did their younger schoolmates. Literate students appeared to keep those skills sharp. Over the past two years, the Department of Education's ebook program had double the number of checkouts compared to pre pandemic levels, while parents may have also played a part in the success of their children's at home or virtual education. We're seeing that family involvement levels have never been higher or stronger. Literacy is a key skill for students and can impact how well they learn in other subjects. Reading did struggle. Um, writing struggled even more because I think a lot of distance learning is just there wasn't as much paper pencil as there is and math too because math is a lot of manipulatives and hands on stuff. The state is focusing additional learning resources and spending additional federal dollars on literacy. Some schools have also provided additional tutoring or education outside of the classroom. But even with the extra help, Hawaii's public and charter schools reading problem will be here for quite a while. It's not something that's going to be fixed overnight, that it could take possibly, you know, two to three years. We will be seeing ripple effects not only academically, but social emotionally. I, I give it another three to four years <laughs> to catch up. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.